Hello and welcome. I am Zinder, and this is episode 21 of my Minecraft Let's Play. And, uh, I actually do want to expand the house. I actually want to expand it this way some as well. But in order to do that, I'm going to need more nether bricks. So, we are going to head into the nether and rip that fortress apart even more. And, uh, you'll see on my bar, I'm bringing something with me that most people would suggest that you never take with you to the nether. Why am I doing this? Because nether bricks take too long to break. And I'm lazy. Also, the netherrack looks amazing. It looks kind of like red wool, I know. Although it's a lot more darker. It's a lot darker than red wool. It's more vibrant, because a lot of the wools feel a little desaturated, in my opinion. And, uh, it's also got a slightly different texture. So, it sticks out a lot more than red wool ever would. Unless somebody made red wool look like this, but I'm not doing that in my texture pack. Well, it's not really mine. I started off with the one that I linked in earlier in episode, and I've been slowly destroying it since. I say destroying because I'm sure some of the changes I've made probably would make the texture pack creator very sad. Although I've kept the general idea behind pretty much all of his textures, save for replacing his paintings, which, to be honest, he never replaced the paintings, so I don't feel bad about that at all. That was something that he didn't even do, so... Or she, I guess, I don't know the person that made it's a male or a female, so... I should probably not do that generalization. I'm going to go with they. And, uh... I'm glad I brought this pick along, because it is making quick work of this nether brick. And that's what I was trying to do. I was going to make the effort to cut down on the wasted time in this episode. Because I want to get as much actual doing as done as possible. And the only reason I'm doing this on camera is because it's the nether. I could randomly hit a pig zombie and die, and, well, that's the kind of thing I want to get on camera. It's probably the kind of thing that most of you want to see, too. I'm not saying that you guys are sadists or anything for wanting to see people get, you know, murdered in their Minecraft Let's Plays, but, uh, face it, it it's funny when people die to stupid things. Regular things? Actually, it can be funny, but not quite so much. Whenever you die to stupid things in Minecraft, it is hilarious. It's coming from somebody that dies regularly to creepers. Half the time I hear them, and all they can do is go, Ah, shit. Whether or not I actually say that, well... The, the, the words... Maybe not those exact words. I'm thinking that, those exact words... I've been trying to censor myself a little bit in previous episodes. Not actual censor, but you know what I mean. Like, I try to replace the words with other words that aren't those words. As opposed to just beeping things. Because that would require editing. Why edit whenever you can make it so you don't need to in the first place? But, uh, this is rather uneventful. And that blaze spawner should be right there around that corner... I believe it was down off the edge. I don't really think I should go poke my nose into that. We are going to take a large chunk out of this diamond pickaxe on this nether brick. Because I'm probably going to use a lot of it. Because I really like how it looks now. I didn't mind the texture before. Well, I didn't change the texture at all. I, I really liked the texture, but its color was off. So I changed it. And now it's much more to my liking. Yes, I know, it's all dark and sinister looking. And... What do you want? Give me experience. Whoops. Man, there's a noticeable difference between the two of those. Um... I almost want to, like, go out and seek trouble. Just for something interesting. Where? Oh, shit. Now I know where he is. They is. That thing is. I think I know how to get down there, too. Um. But we're gonna go back here. There's nothing important back here, so why not just 
you know what? Just break through here and make sure there's nothing important. Okay. I was probably going to need some netherrack anyhow, but there is some nether brick hiding underneath part of this. What's going on here? Okay. Um, I've never actually tried to dig out nether brick too readily because I'd never made any texture pack changes before, so I thought it looked kind of ugly, so I never really wanted to build out of it. But, I mean, now digging at these dead ends, as we'll call them in the uh, nether fortresses, you see that the nether brick does some really weird stuff sometimes. I know, terrain generation is random. You know, that's just how it is. But still, this just seems really weird to me. I mean, like, look at this. There's nether rack there, and nether brick over here, just randomly connected to it all. And it was starting to look like a little bit like a void, and less like it had texture. So I added some light. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out of here. Well, I'll be able to get out, but... I was using that. It probably deserved that being broken, too, so. I'm gonna have more nether fence than I ever wanted, though. Cage my, uh, sheep off nether fence. I don't really see people do that. This nether fence is supposed to be a lot harder to get a hold of. Apparently not whenever you're actively mining out nether brick. Used for windows and other random support looking things. There's not going to be a floor to walk on up there at the rate I'm going. I should probably check and see how full my inventory is getting with nether brick. Although I'm pretty sure I'm going to have nether brick for days. Days and days and days. And more nether brick hiding under nether rack. But it's okay because that's my ceiling. And that is a lot of nether brick. And that is... Wow, no wonder I have so much nether brick. I have cleared out a pretty large area back here. And... Should be getting close to 10 minutes into this, and I don't want to spend, you know, 30 minutes just mining nether brick in the, uh, the nether. So, I'm going to get to building right after I staircase my way up out of this. Whoops. Screw it. Uniformity. It's now a three-wide staircase. But I want the nether fences. Yep. Uh, they're not even a nether brick fence anymore. They're just nether fences. And that is my directions on how to get out, which ended up being Oh, so very wrong. Oh, well, not wrong. It's technically right, but it's definitely not the easiest way. Oh, snap. Shoot me again. Okay, I'll stop moving. Oh. Here we go. Oh, yes, gas tier. I don't remember what exactly that's used for in potion making, but... It's a good thing. I'm not exactly the master alchemist of Minecraft. I wanted to put it out, and I walked in it. That was kind of fail. I am at no, like, lack of wheat or bread, because a full harvest of my farm is 64 wheat, which is, you know, just over 20-something bread. So, bread's not hard to come by. And that might seem like a complete random thought, but I just ate some bread. So, there we go. And apparently my microphone needs a little bit of adjusting. There we go. I don't know if that made any difference on your guys' side. Um, I do know that this microphone may make me sound a little bit distant, but clear, hopefully. I haven't gotten too many actual opinions on how they thought it sounded 
The only people I've talked to, they were on stuff like, you know, Vent and Skype. And of course, things generally sound fine there. Well, it's hard to tell a difference, we'll say. Well, now's a good time as any to wipe out a good section of this. This whole thing, well, I could... Ugh. Yeah, I don't entirely know what I intend to do with this just yet. I'm apparently being very bad at decision making. I do know that I want to make sure it goes to here. Why here? Why not? Right, so I was going to make this three high, which makes that too high up. Which I filled in the, the corners around the edges, in case you hadn't noticed. Um, I just felt like the the nether rack showing like that looked a little weird. Okay, Mr. Enderman, if you're in my tunnel... Well, hi there. Hey! You don't like the sunlight. But you can't fight me, because I'm standing in it. Ooh. Whoa. That was... strange. I was not expecting him to actually attack me. Future reference. Apparently do not taunt Endermen. They will stop caring about the sun for a little while. And my screw up here... Screws up screw ups here are just going to be done using the uh, the iron pick because why waste the diamond any more than I already have and I realize yes it's just a pick but I'm not branch mining or strip mining although I'm going to be honest I don't want to but I do want to make a large supply a large way to get not a large way a good way to get a hold of slimes so I can make slime ball or get slime balls to make sticky pistons. And the only way I can actually think of to actively do that would be to make a very large strip mine. You know, I kind of want to be in here. Whoa. That's dark. And I'm probably going to put multiple rooms back through here. Um, I didn't do any actual counting. I believe things were lined up properly when I looked at... Uh, uh, oh. That's not going to work. I'm not going to be able to fit that anywhere in here. Hmm. That's kind of depressing. Nowhere's really gonna fit. I mean, I could move it somewhere. I could build a room down below my house specifically for it. I kind of don't want to keep on building down like that, because traveling down like that's actually pretty annoying. I think I might change to a different strategy, of which is going to be... I'm going to build a center area. It's going to have tunnels that extend out from it, and then there's going to be a room at each tunnel. Which means there's probably going to be a lot of remodeling going on down in there. It's going to be probably mostly off camera. Um, but like I said before, I do want to find a good way to get slimes. So I kind of just want to dig down. I'd have to find what chunks are, how should I put it, slime enabled. And that's going to take a little bit of work. I don't really know how to do that other than uh, digging out a bunch of areas just in that are a good they have to be a good size but they also have to be a good distance apart from each other and that's where the problem occurs and I didn't quite want to do that yet screw it I have enough nether brick that 
should be able to build the wall up in no time. Now, I could just extend out in a direction, like, even right here, like, right inside the door. I could just extend this area, make it another room, and make it perfectly designed for the bookcases. And that's probably what I'm going to do. I mean, after all I'm doing here, there's probably going to be a bunch of stuff that I'm just going to chop out. But, what are you going to do? And yes, I realize that the wood and the nether brick are going to seriously clash in a way that nobody ever wanted to see. Actually. It's not that they clash, it's almost like the, the nether brick is way too dark. And I'm pretty sure there's some wood that I just locked outside. Um, hopefully you guys don't care, because I don't care that much even after the amount of wood that I burnt through on the last episode. Which I'm reclaiming a bunch of it, so... Yay. And yes, I need windows. Which means I need sand. Which means that I need to gener... Gener? What? What kind of word was I going for there? Journey! Wow. Journey! Out to the desert. Collect some. You know, I really should just give up on trying to speak the English language. Unfortunately, I'd have to learn another language before I could do that. And that probably wouldn't be very entertaining for you guys, because then you probably wouldn't be able to understand me, and that probably wouldn't be much fun for you. But, uh... Whoops. Oh, I might want to put in a roof. Shit. Yep, I'm sure somebody was sitting here going, didn't you say something about roof made out of netherrack? And right around that time, I'm going, right about now, it took me this long to go, shit, my roof is supposed to be made out of netherrack. GG. Wow, that really stands out. I like that. The very contrasting colors that look good together. I kind of want to retexture the, um, the end block to make it look cool-ish. Because um, I really don't like how the end stone looks. And I, I basically consider it a free block to have to modify it. And you guys knowing me, it's probably going to end up as some kind of green color. I don't quite know what I am going to do with it. And there's this, still this one block called Sponge that... I have no idea why it's in the game, but it's not utilized any... There's no way to get it outside of creative mode or inventory editing... And I just don't understand why it's there. But, uh... Who knows? Maybe one day it'll be implemented. Maybe, uh... You know, it's not quite what I meant to do, but... The thing is, it's what I was going to eventually do. Um... Who knows? Maybe he'll expand on water biomes. Water biomes. Ocean biomes. And he'll add stuff like coral reefs. And, you know, sponges can be part of, like, a coral reef or something. Which, I know that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense in its own either. But, uh, I think you get where I'm coming from on that. Ocean biomes are cool and all, but they need, like, underwater structures or something. Some way that you can, you know, something that makes them stand out other than just a giant ocean. Because it, currently it just feels like it's a lazy biome. Take biome, generate some underwater, you know, constructions, and then just throw water on top of it. 
throw up some torches as temporary lighting of probably an unequal spacing oh Well, doesn't that just turn out just it's jiffy right there? Jiffy. Um, that wood probably is going to look a little out of place. The whole alignment is probably going to look a little out of place, but I have plenty of room to actually expand on things now. And no, this isn't the end of the episode. There's still a good little bit of time to go. I'm going to shear some sheep. I still have a lot more nether brick left over. So I very well could just do a lot more. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, sheep. So I'm not going to have enough nether rack. I don't have enough nether rack to finish the roof. And I don't have enough wool to finish the floor, probably. I need to start carrying a piece of wheat with me just so I can get them out of the door. I heard that. No. Bad sheep. What is your guys' fascination with the door? You, you want free? Is that it? Well, too bad. I kind of feel like I need to do something to the doors. I kind of want to make the iron doors match up with the whole thing, and then I'll put like a button on the outside or whatever. Um, here I am just talking down here, not even remembering what I was doing. Problem solved. You know, I should probably just store that and walk in water. Okay, guys, I apparently just took a shower. Yep. But, uh... Wow. I'm terrible. I forgot what I was saying there for a second. Well, for a second, I still don't quite remember. But, uh... Mm. That's, that's terrible. The fact that I can't remember is just absolutely terrible. Oh, right, the doors. I want to make uh, the iron doors match up with the nether brick. Which shouldn't be hard. All I'd basically have to do is turn them like a dark color. Just, I don't even need to desaturate them. They're already gray. I just need to darken them. As for the wooden doors, I don't know. I guess they stay wooden, but I don't really like their design. If you know what I mean? So I should be able to change that. Um, don't really have an idea on what I want for the design. I was thinking like a uh, like a glass pane door, but I'm not exactly you know Captain Creative here. So, and the last time I tried doing that, it didn't quite turn out right. The uh, I, I tried to make it look like a handle, but nothing lined up right. It was really strange. Like, I'll have to try it again to show you guys. Not try it. Just do it. It's fairly simple how I did it. And as for having enough wool to do this, it's gonna be close. Very close. I'm sure somebody already looked and did the math and they're like, nope! Well... You'd be wrong, sir. Oh, fully done floor for the moment. Till I expand. I do... I don't... Mm. The glass actually looks kind of cool, but... You know? It won't interfere if I do this just right. Right? Okay. Then there'd be the wall here. 
case you don't know what I'm doing, I'm trying to plan for the enchanting room. I don't even know if I can pick that thing up without it being destroyed, to be honest. I've never tried. I could go do that in multiplayer. Oh, fuck me. No, 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 no. No blowing up my floor. Oh, fuck off, skeleton. Beat you to death with my shovel. Now, this of course means that the uh, general lining up of stuff is going to end up being a little weird. And... I should be able to get this... Uh, I'm not going to be able to get the, uh, the whole thing done. Sorry, I'm trying to mathing it. Mathing? Math it in my head. I've got three... We got three lime left. And I know that this needs to be five, so it looks like I need to go back one more. Which I kind of figured. I was trying to math it out a bit as I was doing it, but as you can tell, I wasn't doing it all that well. I really need to get the roof. Whoops. One of these is not like the other. Oh. Derp. This is the wall. I really wish I had a complete floor right now. Yes, I'm cutting this out. Why am I cutting this out? Because that's where the ceiling's going to go. Which I need more netherrack. I need netherrack so I can finish that. I need netherrack so I can run it in here. Which, it's already partly in here. I don't know if that's tall enough on the outside. I'm pretty sure that's not tall enough to stop mobs from getting in. But, uh... One thing I did recently hear is that if a creeper explodes on an enchanting table, because one of the base materials is um, obsidian, it won't blow it up. Which is why I'm also thinking that the only way you could retrieve one would probably be with a diamond pickaxe. But, uh... Brave the outside. Uh, oh, I should be able to complete my floor now. In theory. Oh, yeah. That should definitely be plenty enough. I need to figure out what I'm going to do about those. But that is a mission for a different episode. Kind of want to... Going to need to brainstorm a little bit on what I'm going to do with that, too. So, Or maybe you guys can give me ideas. I don't know. But, uh, I'm going to break this with that diamond pick, and if I don't get it back, everybody can laugh at me for being an idiot. And if I do get it back, you can be laugh at me for being an idiot for not knowing it. Either way, it's a uh, win-win for you guys laughing at me for being an idiot. There we go. I'm sure that was probably bothering somebody. You know, I can't even say that, because even though I know most of the people that watch my videos currently, uh, I still can't claim to know what bothers them. I'm not a psychic. Although sometimes it can seem like I am. But I do things that seem to be... Well, it's not really in this game. But when I'm just generally working with somebody, I guess it's probably the general knowledge of the person as opposed to the... You know, I still don't have an alchemy chest. Yep, 
random topic switch. Gotta work with what comes to mind. Oh, while I'm here, I'm just gonna show you guys. That is why I'm not overly concerned about uh, eating bread and wasting some of it, essentially. And then every time I harvest the trees... Oh. Now you guys can laugh at me for not knowing that I would get it back. Yeah, because putting that there without the netherrack, that's safe. Not gonna waste the diamond pick. You know, I'm sure you're going... If you're not gonna use it, you shouldn't have it. With you, that is. And I agree. I shouldn't have it with me. But I definitely do. The thing is, I can come in here with a stone pick and just cut through this stuff just as quick. I do really think there needs to be more nether-themed blocks in the game. But, to be honest, the nether is not incredibly new. Like, it's new, but it's not new. Or maybe it is. No, no, not quite. It's new, but it's not new. We're gonna put it that way. And I mean, it recently had the Nether Fortresses thing. That was right before the release of the game. It took a while before it even got to see that update, so... One thing at a time. Who knows? Maybe, uh... Maybe it'll come after jungles. But I mean, this was added as part of a Halloween update. And, to be honest, I don't expect the next update till another Halloween update. So, yeah, that's my opinion on the nether. It needs more, but I don't expect to see anything anytime soon. That still feels like it needs something. It doesn't quite work right. Yep, work right. Not, not that it doesn't line up or anything, it just doesn't work right. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm sure you're probably a little bit questioning why I'm doing that. Or maybe you guys have an idea of why I'm doing that. You'll find out soon enough. I'm gonna get this roof done. Let's see how many bookcases I make, can make. Pretty sure... I'm over the 30 minutes. So I guess, uh... uh I'm gonna... Uh, fill in the uh, that hole I made with that. Dump these in here. And then, uh, once I put that in, I'm gonna end the episode, and it won't be until 22 that you get to see how many bookcases I made. Although, I will probably just burn time in between and fully fill the room as intended. But, in the meantime, that now puts a nice little spotlight right onto the enchanting table. This... Uh, I don't know what to do about that at the moment. I haven't decided. I'll worry about that at a later date. But uh, I'm going to call this the end of the episode, and I will see you again in episode 22.